Welcome to Tian KL Chemistry Channel. So for this question, um, the carbon gas is passed through the iodide solution. Once this carbon gas in contact with iodide solution, uh, so you all should know that it will undergo displacement reaction means the iodide will be oxidized to iodine and of course chlorine will reduce to chloride okay after this iodide oxidized to iodine the iodine it will dissolve in both layers the aqueous layers and the hexane layers Okay, so first, the iodide solution here initially is colorless, clear. But when the common gas bubble through the iodide solution, as I told you just now, the iodide will oxidize to iodine. And this iodine will dissolve in water and give the brown color only brown color because the solubility of iodine in the water is uh, not really that high okay, but when the if some of the iodine that form okay, is get into hexane layer because hexane is a non-polar solvent it can dissolve the non-polar compound well that's why iodine is has a higher solubility in hexane. Therefore, it will give the purple color in hexane. So therefore, the change in the lower and upper layers is clear. So for lower layers, we know that iodine is formed. Therefore, its colors become brown. So it's either A or B. Upper hexane layer is colorless liquids becomes color. Yeah, it becomes purple color. So B is unchanged wrong. Okay, answer is of course A. Thank you.